Discover the enhanced conditional formatting, formulas, and contextual navigations in Planner Workspaces. With release 24.11, we've enhanced the conditional formatting, formula, and contextual navigation features. These enhancements allow you to address additional use cases. Let's start with conditional formatting. The example at hand is meant to display the demand and planned shipments to customers. By using conditional formatting, we can easily highlight cases where the demand can't be fulfilled completely. As conditional formatting can now be based on another key figure, we can highlight the total customer receipts key figure if it doesn't match up with the consensus demand key figure. You can find the related definition here. There's a wide variety of operators available. You can also choose to apply the conditional formatting to totals, non-totals, or both. Formulas are very handy for calculating values on the fly. The minute you change a related key figure value, the calculation is updated. Formulas now support new operators and functions. In this example we've enriched the calculation by first checking whether the demand is blank. This way, we ensure that the related cell will remain empty in case the demand is empty as well. This is just one of multiple use cases you can address using formulas. In case you are uncertain about the syntax, you can easily access the related information in the same dialog. Guiding users from issues to solutions is very important. Contextual navigations are one of multiple features that help you to realize this flow. The feature has been further enhanced as of release 24.11. As a first step, we want to check which plants are supplying which distribution centers. This navigation was already possible in past releases. As a next step, we want to analyze the capacities in one of the displayed plants. However, the relevant information is contained in the attribute, ship from location ID, so we can't simply hand over this attribute to the next planning view as the capacity information relates to the attribute, location ID. However, you can now achieve this by using attribute mappings. First, let's trigger the navigation. As you can see, the filter is passed as required. Next, let's review the definition we can access the wizard from the side panel. In the step, filter behavior, we find the section, attribute mapping. Here, we simply map the attribute, ship from location ID, to the attribute, location ID. After reviewing the capacity, we can continue analyzing the bill of material and we can even drill down into the data. All of that is possible using contextual navigations. Stay tuned, there is more to come in upcoming releases.